in this whole play there are you know there is baba then there are souls that are number wise but apart from you know souls and baba there's a very important factor which is drama or time yes and time is a very important factor understand the secret of the drama and then play your part so you see that it is very important to understand what time it is because in this drama at different points of time different things happen yes and time is always important so if you are a farmer you need to know the seasons yes if you don't know the seasons then what can you sow the seeds at the right time and get the fruit you cannot yes even when you are working in the mundane world it is very important to match your karmic clock and your biological clock with the you know external clock because if you do not do things on time so you see if you are working night shift and although you are taking rest in the day still you know you will feel the toll of the night shift because night is meant for sleep days meant for waking up and these days you see there is this thing called the blue rays you know from the phone and they give you a signal that it is day time and so people are staying awake at night because these radiations this light from the phone or the laptop it creates an illusion in the mind that this is day time and so you're watching your phone and it is 11 in the night 12 or maybe even later than that and your brain is not getting the signal sleep why because of those that light and then you are stretching your you know uh, ex- uh, stretching your day and you're not sleeping at the right time and then it is taking a toll on you so time is very important clock is very important if we don't do things on time we suffer an understanding of the of the time of the 24 hour cycle or the one year cycle is very important uh when it comes to various things just like i told you about the one year cycle very important to understand the seasons uh, especially in agriculture so baba says that you also have to understand this big clock you know this big unlimited chakra of the drama and baba has given us knowledge so we have all seen the picture the picture of you know uh, the 5000 year cycle and that is the picture of the drama wheel and baba says you must understand the secrets of the drama and what is the secret for of the drama so in the drama there is a prefix time for purity peace prosperity so for 2500 years there was purity peace prosperity no sorrow no problems nothing yes so that was also a factor of time and then there was a fact it was a factor of time that we became vicious and we started forming religions so in the picture of the cycle what do we see 
from the copper age onwards different religions are formed abraham comes and he forms the islam religion and then uh, there is christ and buddha they form the christian and buddhist religion respectively so there is a time when it is the time for bhakti it is the time for formation of religions it is the time for you know sorrow and downfall and vices and do we play along yes we play along and we get depleted and what is the time now so the time now is baba has come and my father who can give the inheritance has come the purifier has come and this is the only time in the whole of this cycle where i can create my fortune where i can go from the stage of descending to the stage of ascension so this is the time to create my fortune this is the time to remember baba this is the time to you know absolve myself of all sins this is the time to create the punya karma that will create my fortune but do we understand this cycle yes so baba says today that the history and geography keep repeating the so what is the history keeps repeating so baba says that nobody in the world knows this history that you were deities and there was only one religion one language yes there were no vices it was a completely viceless world so that history is again repeating so again that time is coming but baba says you have to understand this repetition and you have to understand where are we at this point of time and what do we need to do at this point of time so baba says you have to hold the essence or significance of the drama in your awareness yes because if we don't understand so have you ever felt uh, in your life that you did not interpret the time right and you lost something because the timing was wrong yes have you felt that so there are times when you know you uh, so there are children who do not study at the time of studying and so they cannot you know uh, do other things at the time of doing them because they wasted that time so even in the cycle of life you have to honor time right if you waste your childhood so have you seen there is a time for nourishing the body also so if you have eaten right in young age then your muscles and bones develop and if you have not eaten right in a young age then even if you eat a lot later on it doesn't matter and um, the timing is so important you see getting physical nutrition at the right time getting emotional sustenance at the right time so you know if children don't get emotional sustenance in childhood then they suffer all their life so all of these or you don't study at the right time then you don't learn so you know i understand that maths and language and these things can only be learnt in childhood so if you have not learnt it then it is very difficult to learn it later and i remember that uh, when i was little i learnt a lot of language you know i i learnt vocabulary and then later on also i start tried to learn more of it but until now i feel that only what i learnt in childhood stays with me so up to the age of you know 16 or 18 whatever vocabulary i learned that stays with me but the ones i learnt later on it doesn't stay with me so you see you have to honor time and uh, this is why you know um, when there are elders in the family they will always tell you to 
understand the time, understand the importance of time. But okay, that is in a limited sense. So, in the sense of the world, in the sense of you know, um, uh, this mundane world, people will tell you the importance of time. But Baba says, I am giving you the knowledge of this unlimited time cycle. And in this time cycle, this is the only time where you have to remember Baba and create your fortune. And Baba says that, Abhi nahi to kabhi nahi. If not now, then never. So this is the only time when we souls meet Baba and we souls have the option of you know creating our fortune by remembering Baba and this is why Baba says you have to understand the secret of the drama and play your part right now. Yes, so this is the time when uh, Baba is here and he is giving us the inheritance and we have to follow Srimat we have to remember Baba and we have to create our fortune. But are we understanding the importance of time? Yes, or are we, um, you know, um, because we are body conscious, we are wasting away this auspicious time. So, you know, uh, when we talk about productive use of time, even productive use of time cannot happen if there is no awareness of this unlimited drama. So, you know Baba, I remember two, three days back, uh, there was a blessing that Baba gave. And in that blessing, Baba said that, whatever karma you do, be trikal darshi and do it. So, don't just see that, you know, this is in front of me, so let me do that. Yes, so this is the thing that is uh, demanding my attention right now, so let me just do it. No, Baba says, do everything by understanding the secret of the drama. So, you see that uh, there may be children in front of you, there may be household work in front of you, there may be office work in front of you and maybe you know in all of this you lose the sense that I am a soul and I am in Sangam Yuga and this is the time when I have to remember Baba or I have to spend time and thought and energy and money in creating good karma. So don't think that this is what demands my immediate attention so I just have to do that. No. Even the invisibles, you know, you cannot see Sangam Yuga, but it is Sangam Yuga. You cannot see that this is the time to create fortune, but this is the only time to create fortune. So Baba says, hold the secret of the drama in your buddhi that what time is it and what do I need to do? Yes, so don't just think that uh, whatever is in front of me or whatever is visible, that is important. Use your third eye. Don't get deceived by the two eyes. Yes, so, you know, I have seen that even in Seva, there are phases when there is so much other stuff to do that you feel like, you know, yoga can take a back seat. So, you know, instead of um, focusing on yoga, let me just focus on seva, seva, seva. There are times when that is how it happens. And maya will make you feel like, you know, seva is the most important thing and uh, this is needs to be done and that needs to be done. But when you sit in silence, you understand that without yoga, all seva is useless. Yes, so then you have to be trikal darshi and you have to understand the importance of 
remembering Baba and you have to let go of everything else that is on your mind and just remember Baba and fill yourself with the strength. So it is very important to hold this knowledge of drama in your awareness because <coughs> more often than not what happens is the knowledge of the drama gets lost and sometimes you forget what time it is and what is your priority now. Yes, sometimes you may even prioritize, uh, you may prioritize the body over yourself, you may prioritize your desires over yourself or pleasures or you know some relationship that is karmic, that is calling out for karmic settlement. So don't prioritize anything over, you know, spiritual growth right now. So Baba says you have to understand the secrets of the drama and work accordingly. And according to the drama, this is Sangam Yuga and this is the time to create your Satyugi fortune. And then Baba says, according to the drama plan, this cycle has to repeat and we have to go to that world where there are no vices. So you see if you are not Trikal Darshi, you will always have this thought. It is very difficult to be viceless in this world. Yes, but uh, it may be difficult to be viceless in this world. But what is the aim? The aim is that you have to go to the world where there are absolutely no vices. So how do you go to a world where there is no place for vices if you are vicious? So Baba says if you hold the awareness of drama in your buddhi, that I have to go to a world where everyone speaks softly, sweetly, everybody is you know in harmony with each other, there is no karma done out of lust, anger, ego, attachment, greed. So if I have to go to that world, then I have to understand that I have to create those sanskars today. So Baba says that when you keep this past, present and future in your buddhi, according to the unlimited cycle, then the choices you make, are very different from the choices you make right now. And you understand that, um, so uh, you, have you seen that sometimes you are talking to somebody and uh, they are holding something in their buddhi, they have a secret and then they are going by that secret and you don't know that secret, so you are suggesting something else and then they tell you no this is the plan and this is what I know and you don't know. So then you understand that okay they are coming from a right place and you understand the whole frame. So similarly Baba says maybe in the world people will not understand why we are doing what we are doing because they don't know the secret of the drama. Yes, they don't know it is Sangam Yoga, they don't know it is going to be Satyug. Yes, so and you see that um, uh, once there was this uh, sister and she started telling me that um, I don't like the shaming that religions do around you know lustful conduct and she said that I think it is lust is a very natural part of me and I think that being lustful is okay and there is no problem with desires, whether it is they are physical or something. And then I said, okay, so maybe we are having this discussion very early. And then I told her the secret of the drama that we are going to a world where there is no lust. And then she said, okay, then it makes sense, you know, if we are preparing for that world, then it makes sense because right now it doesn't make sense. So. I said yes, so it doesn't make sense now, but we are not doing it now. So I asked her, you know, that when you were little, when you were a child, 
uh, did studying make sense to you? So, you were learning mathematics, you were learning addition, subtraction, a calc, you know multiplication and division, but did you need to use it at that time? So, you never counted money, you never did anything with that mathematics, but you studied it at that time. Why did you study? Because the teachers told you, your parents told you that you will use it later on, right? And if a child starts arguing that right now I do not have any utility for this mathematics or whatever I am studying, then would he study it? No. So, Sometimes, you know, uh, even in life you see, you learn things at one time and use it at another time. And if you apply logic at the time of learning, sometimes you see no logic in it. Yes, and I remember, you know, when um, my parents used to teach me A, B, C, D, I found it very, very uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't like it, I hated it, you know, just keep on repeating A, B, C, D or I remember it as a child also, I didn't like it. But if you don't learn A, B, C, D, how do you learn the language? And anybody who speaks a language does not probably understand the importance of learning A, B, C, D or the, the you know, the word mala or the, the letters before uh, using the language, but that is how it goes. So, Baba says you also have to understand that uh, at this time you have to change your sanskars. Although you know at this time you may feel that uh, my Kalyugi sanskars are of much greater use than Sangam Yugi sanskars. So, sometimes you feel that you know I can get work done easier with anger than with love or you know things uh, doing things with ego is much more easy than doing things with humility and even if you talk with humility sometimes somebody does not understand and they take it for weakness. But Baba says that you have to keep the secret of the drama in your awareness that I have to go to a world where there is no vice absolutely and I am doing all of this to prepare myself for that world. And even if uh, sometimes you feel that this is not, um, this is not making complete sense to you, you have to have faith in Baba, faith in the knowledge of drama faith in yourself that you have done it many times and faith in the family and move on. Yes, so this is how with faith. So, why do you need faith? You need faith where you know, uh, apparently you cannot see everything the way it is. So, you need faith. So, you need faith in Baba, you need faith in the knowledge of drama because with your two eyes and limited buddhi, you cannot understand that it is going to be satyug and I have to prepare for satyug. But we have to have faith and with that faith we have to be trikal darshi and choose our actions. So, you know whether it is action of time, thought or words or it is about using your time and thought to create good karma or using your money for seva, whatever it is, you have to be trikal darshi and make these choices. Because if you are fixated with the here and now, then you cannot see the secret of the drama and cannot work accordingly. And Baba has told us that the history will repeat and the geography will repeat. So, the history and geography both repeat. So, when Baba says the history will repeat, so Baba says I give you the knowledge of history that Satyug was there and then Satyug will be there. So, that is history repeating. Now, what is geography repeating? So, Baba says 
you have come from the soul world and you will go back to the soul world. So what is the picture for geography that Baba has given us? The picture of the three worlds, the soul world, the subtle world and this gross world, corporeal world. And Baba says, you know, we have two cycles. One rotates like this, yes, the, the up and down cycle. Yes, so we are going, we are up in the soul world and then we come down and then after 5000 years we have to again go up. And then when we are down there is this cycle where we are going from Satyuk to Kaliyuk and back to Satyuk. So this is the cycle of geography and this is the cycle of history. And this is how we keep going round and round. So Baba says, not just Satyuk, but now you also have to go back home. Because you came from home and when you came, how did you come? You came bodiless. Yes, so you were bodiless and there was absolutely no memory, no attachment to this world of matter and you came in as a point of light and now you also have to go back to that world like that. So you have to just be that star, you know, empty. Nothing of this world is in your heart and on your mind and in your buddhi. So Baba says, also understand that the geography has to repeat. And because the geography has to repeat, I have to move from this world of bodies, this world of matter, to that world where there is no matter, no body. That's a world of light. And to go to that world, I have to shed whatever I am carrying of this world, because now the geography has to repeat. And just think about how much of this old world are you carrying inside yourself? And um, you know, these days, uh, if you observe properly, when you're listening to something, you only listen to 10% of it. And 90% is lost. You don't even remember listening it. So if you listen to the same class again, you would remember that, you know, you, you didn't listen to this point at all. So where is all that going? So, you know, all our disc is full with the old world. So it's this old world and this disc which is so full with the memories and the impressions and the residues and the history of this old world. And Baba says, now you have to clean this whole disc. So clean the subconscious, the unconscious, everything has to be cleaned. And Baba says, you have to come back to that place where you're just a point of light. And how do you do that? So Baba says that you have to stop thinking about this old world at all. So, you know, no bodily being, no thing of this old world should remain in your buddhi. Just Baba. Every time you remember anybody, just know that it is Maya playing a game. Yes, so do you remember the past or do you remember your version of the past? your version of the past? Do you remember people or your version of people? Do you really know somebody? No. Do you know their story? Do you know their history? Do you know their future? Nothing. But you keep repeating inside yourself your opinion, your version, your ego-based creation of that person. So Baba says, it is all Maya doing that work. 
So attachment will make you think excessively about somebody. But can you control anybody's destiny? No. But you just feel that, you know, thinking about someone is helping them in some way. So Baba says, all of this is work of Maya. So Maya makes you think about the old world. Maya makes you believe that, you know, thinking about the old world is helping it. But Baba says, nothing and no one of the old world should stay in your buddhi. Because whenever you are thinking about them, it's just an act of Maya. There is no productivity coming out of it. So Baba says, your only work now is to do, play your part and in that also find a balance between playing your mundane and your divine part. So, you know, you have two parts. One is the karmic settlement part, which is coming from the old world. And then there is the part of creation, which Baba is asking us to do. And Baba says, find the balance where you settle your karma and also create your fortune. Don't get so engrossed in settling your karma that you forget to create your fortune. Yes, so there was this one sister and she was telling me that I, uh, I get free from household work around 10 in the night and then I take my son and I sit, make him sit down and make him study up to 12 in the night and then I cannot get up in the morning. And she said that it is my mundane duty that is calling out to me. So I said, okay, but that's just an illusion. Yes, so yes, I understand that it is your duty, but you have to find a middle path. You have to find a balance where you know you are able to take care of the kid also, the household also, but also not neglect your Amrit Vela. And that is being Trikal Darshi because Baba says you have to settle accounts also and you have to create good karma also. Both of them you have to do. And this is the only time left. So Baba says that when you hold in your awareness the secrets of the drama and you hold in your awareness that is, it is time to go back, the history is repeating, the geography is repeating, then what do you do? You divide your resources. You divide all your resources, time, thought, money, energy, in an optimum way where you devote them optimally to karmic settlement of the old. Yes, so you have to settle accounts. Second is building a stage where you are non-reactive. Yes, so not creating further bad karma. And for that you have to practice bodylessness in a big way. Practice remembering Baba in a big way. And then you have to also devote your time, thought, energy, money, everything in creating good karma which will be created if you paid attention to Srimad. So if you are paying attention to remembering Baba, if you are paying attention to churning knowledge, if you are paying attention to doing seva, only then can you create new good karma. So Baba says, when you hold the secret of the drama in your buddhi properly, that you know this is the only time for karmic settlement, this is the only time where I can save myself from creating further bad karma by acting knowledgefully, powerfully, by being a karm yogi. And this is the only time when I can create my fortune for the next cycle. So Baba says doing all these three things all together requires very good understanding and faith in the knowledge of the soul, the knowledge of Baba and the knowledge of drama. 
So this is what Baba says. And then Baba today says that when you take light and might from Baba, then Maya will not be able to stay in front of you. And today in the Murli also in one place Baba says that you are a non-violent army. So you know we win over Maya but we don't fight with Maya. Yes, we win over Maya but we don't fight with Maya. How do we win over Maya? Through Baba's light and might. Yes, so the more I draw in light and might from Baba, the more I win over Maya. So it's not like you have to fight Maya to win over Maya. Yes, so in any ways we have understood that you cannot be not angry by saying I am not angry. Yes, if you keep saying I am not angry, I am not angry, I am not angry, what is the message you are sending to yourself? Anger, anger, anger. So what is getting triggered? Anger. So Baba says, you don't have to even pay attention to Maya. If you paid attention to Maya, if you told yourself, I don't want to be this, be that, then Maya will get the power. So what do you do? You forget Maya. You forget the old world that is the source of Maya. And you connect your man and buddhi completely with Baba. And always stay under the canopy of Baba's light and might. What is light? Light is knowledge and might is yoga. So when you are always churning the knowledge, points of knowledge in your buddhi and your heart is connected with Baba, then you will be able to discern Maya and win over Maya. So this is the method to win over Maya. You don't fight with Maya to win over Maya. Okay, Om Shanti.